Yo, what's going on? At the end of the day, welcome to the podcast. The final G Track Pro video, part two. Maybe. <laughs> Want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, if you purchase that mic, make sure it's the best mic for you. And the G-Track Pro from Samsung, I mean, I definitely like the mic a lot. And um, I made a couple of videos already here on the channel. I put the playlist in the corner. If you want to check those out. Um, a lot of people still click on them to this day. And I hope you like them. You know, definitely leave me some comments. Now... G-Track Pro Professional USB Microphone with Audio Interface. Here we go. Never really got into the website before. Um, here's a few of the accessories right here. I've done videos on these already. Um, a lot of these. The G-Track Pro Pop Filter, the Spider Shock Mount, as well as the microphone arm. Um, the one I have is actually not listed here. The specific size. But I've done videos. I'll link them in the, you know, in the corner here. You can get the playlist that'll pop up. You can see all those videos if you're interested. Now, never really got into the actual website, but uh, just to show you the microphone itself, we can view it here. It says view larger. It's, I guess it is larger, but not much larger. But here you can see the microphone itself. Uh, you have the front controls. Um, the There's controls here as well. Now, there's a light here letting you know once you've connected to your computer, the green light comes on letting you know that it is active. You'll have to actually set it up in your program. Not really hard. I could do a tutorial on that if needed. The microphone itself, good quality, I believe. Especially if you have it set up, you can set it up on a table. You can set it up on the mic arm, which I have set up right here. I have a mic arm, I have the shock mount, I have the pop filter. You know, you've seen the videos, I'm sure if not, you know, go ahead and click on that playlist and that way you see exactly how we've come to this point and being that the setup is complete. I've already made a final video, but I'm decided to make a final video part two because there's a lot of things I didn't go over, such as looking at the actual website um, right here. You saw the microphone. It is one mic from start to finish. It's saying that because it's much more than a mic Professional sound and recording shouldn't require an advanced degree in engineering. And that's the truth. <laughs> in your home studio or recording on the road, the G-Track Pro allows you to focus on your recording and less on the process. The G-Track Pro is a USB microphone with an instrument input and mixer for recording two independent audio channels at one time. With the ability to capture your audio at 24-bit resolution, your recordings will deliver extremely detailed, high-resolution results. With plug-and-play connectivity and a straightforward design, G-Track Pro is the right choice for musicians, podcasters, or streamers. And, you know, whether you're, you know, one of those people that's a podcaster, um, a streamer, or a musician, as it says, I'm sure you'll find this microphone to suit your needs considering the abilities that it has. For one, the controls on the front, you have separate controls for the audio input, if you have an instrument coming through or another audio source that you want coming through, such as the uh, computer itself, if you want to have that input because it is an audio mixer, so it's something that can adjust the levels of the input, you'd have the computer sound coming in maybe, and um, you'd have the microphone setting. Both of those can be adjusted separately to two different channels, along with the master volume that you're going to hear when you're monitoring if you attach headphones as well to the microphone. Now. With the two track, there's a switch on the front where you can adjust it to do two track or mono. Mono where it captures both tracks simultaneously together on one track in your recording software. Uh, two track is where it separates it. Whether or not, you know, depending on the application you're recording to, it may record it in the same channel, one in left and one in right, or it may actually just give you two separate channels um, to work with in the recording software. You're going to have to do trial and error, you know, depending on the application that you use. But all in all, this mic definitely will get it done. Like a lot of the microphones that are same price and some cost even more. And uh, this microphone can do a lot more than them. Now, it's a mic 
you know, you can set it up like this on the desk. It's a very heavy base that comes with it. Of course, you have to remove it if you're going to set it up in a uh, setup like I have. We're going to attach it to a shock mount and even a mic arm. Don't forget that pop filter because you want to make sure that you keep out sounds that's uh, unwanted, unwanted distortion. Now, it is an audio interface as well, so it eliminates the need for a separate interface. So that'll save you money, that'll save you desk space. Um, you know, definitely a uh, plus. And here it is again, a little close up on the controls. You have the mic volume control, the uh, instrument volume, and the headphone volume. I call that the master volume because that's what you're going to hear in your actual headphone while you're doing your editing or while you're doing your live recording. Um, here's the mute button where you can mute everything all at once. So, if, you know, you have your input set up correctly and everything's recording. You can hit that button right there and that'll just, you know, cause everything to be muted all at the same time. Everything that you have connected to the microphone and the microphone itself. Here's the uh, switch for the microphone control. We have the three different cardioid Omni figure eight, as well as over here, you have mono and two track selection if needed, where you would separate the two tracks, one being from the instrument control or instrument input and the other, the mic itself. Now, I mean, I like the mic. Hence why I kept making videos about it. Um, I wanted to make sure that I picked one that was pretty good to make sure that, you know, if I had future projects to work on and they recorded some desktop mic something that um that i could hang on the arm that it would do both of those purposes and this half met those purposes very well i would recommend it to anybody to buy especially if um they've already tried mics in the past and you know blue yeti and, you know stuff like that i heard of that mic you know around the same price but um this is something that i've used personally um, I'll continue to use, at least for the time being. If you like it, make you know, leave a comment, like, share. Make sure everybody else know that it's a good microphone. So you go out there and invest your $140. You know, make sure you invest it well. Thank you for checking out the video. I'd like to say the title again. It's called the G Track Pro Final Video Part Two, maybe. <laughs> I say maybe, you know, to be continued, you know, I say that. If guys say the same, you'll see me in another video.